Hey there YouTube, Lator Awesome here, and welcome back to Pokemon Volt White. In the last part, we finished up the Desert Resort, and I finished by giving these fossils ratings without being able to see them. Uh, so the first thing I'm doing is just showing them off. Uh, just one at a time here. Oh, I should show off the movesets too, I guess. Um, there's Cranidos, Tertuga, and Arkin. And now, uh, I'm gonna go get back my well, team, and uh, I'll meet you guys in Nimbasa City. Alright, here we are back in Nimbasa City. Um, anyway, in this part, we are not going to be going there quite yet, because there's still <laughs> a couple areas left. Um, first of all, I think this guy gives you... Yeah, he gives you a Macho Brace. Um, it's... Used an EV training, which I don't do. But, uh, this way it goes to Route 16, because, yeah, Route 16. Um, as it's now said, like, four different times. Uh, <laughs> anyway, this is the last remaining route surrounding Nimbasa City that I want to cover. Um, because, well, it's full of trainers and, of course, new Pokemon, because it just wouldn't be... One of these videos without new Pokemon to rate. Um, actually, it would be because there's there's actually plenty of those that don't have that. Anyway, um, Plus bad here is just gonna kill this guy. Whoa, that's a Stoutland. That's fully evolved. Oh, with the quick claw. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to get excited. Um. Well, that's pretty exciting, I guess. Uh, nothing scares him when he can patrol through this Pokemon. You! 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 What the heck? Get over here! Fight me! ting -a -ling, ling I will have a Pokemon battle at this speed. This is weird. Um, you're a poop, and I don't like you. Um, so anyway, this part is going to be full of, well, it's going to be covering definitely Route 16 entirely, and hopefully the area right above it, um, because, well, I'd like to get all of that done in one part. Um, yeah. So this will be, this part will be pretty long. Uh, it'll be the long, it'll be the last long part of this string of videos, which one is already up, the other one is, I mean, it's uploading, but considering it was 36 minutes long, uh, it's, it's got like an hour and a half left. <laughs> um, but this one will be up for a while. Uh, you know what, Plasbad, you're gonna recover. Because you need... Yeah, you really need to get a non-psychic type move at some point. Um, he will. Uh, eventually he's not even going to have Calm Mind, I don't think. Uh, it might, might hang on to Psyshock. I haven't decided if I'm going to go with Psyshock, Psyshock or Psychic yet. Um, on his final move set. But, it'll be one of them. Um... Yeah, why would you send in this a Viper? You probably have something else that's not terrible against me. Yeah, Driftblood, there you go. Um, now, Hunk, die. Thank you. Is that my phone? Yep, that's my phone! <sighs> I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. What was I doing? Having Plasbad use his, <laughs> abuse his Quick Claw and kill his Angus. That's right. I remember now. What do you want to learn? Psychic? Uh, see, here's my dilemma. Psychic is stronger. I don't need you to do physical damage. Actually, yeah. I like Psyshock, but I like Psychic better. It is stronger. It's the more powerful move, so... Yeah. And look at that! Look at my levels! I'm over leveled again! Woo! And I want to use strength for fun! 
Because I can. Um, if this is a new Pokemon, I'll raid it right now. Nope, just some of the old ones that you can get. Uh, this is the double battle grass, clearly. Um, please let us run. Thank you. Um, but there is a trainer over here, so I'm pretty much gonna do it just if I run into a new Pokemon. Cool. <laughs> uh, if I don't, then I'll go get it later. Um, oh boy, Aluxio! Oh, hey, it didn't intimidate. That's great. Um, I was saying something. Alux Ray! Well now, you do intimidate. <laughs> great. Um, oh yeah, I was saying how I'm over leveled again and how that's fun. Um, ow. You cheater. Seriously, why all the hacks? Ugh. I don't even know. Oh, hey, there's the TM for payback. It's a dark type move. And another old Pokemon. Um, actually, since I am in the double battle grass, and since I have so many ratings to do, and I want to split it up a little bit, I'm going to cover the new Pokemon that you can find here in the double battle grass. Okay, the first new Pokemon I found here in the Double Battle Grass in Route 16 is Stunky. Stunky is a Poison Dark type introduced in the fourth generation. Um, Poison Dark is a very interesting type in that its only weakness is ground. Um, or is ground. I don't know why I said it like groaned. Um, but anyway, Stunky here has he he's got a very interesting typing because of the whole one weakness thing. Um, but he's not particularly good. Uh, he's a strong physical attacker. Uh, and he's pretty good defensively. Um, but he's, he gets a 6 out of 10 for in-game use. And then he's decent, but not great. And on to the next one. Alright, the next new Pokemon I found here in the Double Battle Grass for 16 is Glammeow. Glammeow here is a pure normal type Pokemon introduced in the 4th generation. It's one of the line of cats that are introduced. You know, Meowth, uh, Skitty, Glammeow. Purloin. Um, I don't think there's a second gen cat. No, none that I can think of. Anyway, uh, Glammeow here is not very good for a normal type. Uh, it's pretty quick, and its evolution has a decent attack stat, but it's pretty much like, it's, at this point in the game, it's just outmatched all around. Um, he gets a 3 out of 10 for in-game use. Not a very good Pokemon. Don't really recommend it. There's so many better normal types. Um, Anyway, other old Pokemon you find in the grass there include Zangoose, Saviper, Slugma, Girafferink, and Castform, along with some evolutions of Pokemon that we will be finding over here in the normal grass, which I will separate the normal, or the double battle grass from the normal grass by having a battle with this guy, this backpacker whose name I missed. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's going to be a lot of what did you use? I think that was Fury Cutter. I keep looking away <laughs> and not really paying attention to the battles, because at this pro at this point, Steven spelled differently from the other guy. Who was, I believe, a I think there was a Steve before. I avoided whatever that attack was. Because I'm going fast and because I have the uh, code in for skipping the like battle text. I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> a lot of the time. Um, okay, he's calmed down now. Um, there are new Pokemon to find here in the grass. Oh, and this is the first one. Alright, the first new Pokemon I found here in the regular grass from Route 16 is Skruppy. Or Skruppy, or whatever you want to call him. Anyway, he Skruppy here is a bug poison type introduced in the fourth generation. But, interestingly, when he evolves, he becomes a poison dark type. Uh, Drapion. Now, Skruppy is not very good, but if you have the patience to evolve him into a Drapion, he's an actually a really good Pokemon. Uh, I give him a 7 out of 10 for in-game use because it is kind of a pain to evolve him. Uh, but once you do, he's Drapion's a good physical attacker and a good defender, so I can recommend him. Um, and Dark Poison is a very good type. Uh, oh, I need Cut on somebody now. Um... I have been planning on giving cut to someone, I just wasn't sure who. So, I guess I'll decide right now. 
Um, Jetfly or Mach? That is the decision I'm making. Um, you know what? Mach has more variation down the line. Uh, Jetfly is pretty much just going to be fly, a normal type move, a fighting type move. Actually, no. No, not Jetfly. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, he's a he actually will have variation later. Um, Mach is going to have um, physical fire move, fighting type move, and then... Cut. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll give him cut because it actually helps his coverage against water types. So, yeah. He doesn't really need pack anyway. Anyway, there's the TM for Psyshock, so if I ever want to get Psyshock back, I can. Um, and then I'm just going to be trying to find the new, the other new Pokemon uh, here in the regular grass. Black Trike is not new, but we can find him here. So that's interesting, at least. Um, so I'll be right back when I find one. Okay, the next new Pokemon I found here in the Route 16 normal grass is Pawniard. Pawniard is a dark steel type introduced in the fifth generation. Uh, normally found much later in the game. I believe at Route 9 is the first place to normally find him. But in this hack, here he is. Um, he's... Well, she. <laughs> um, Pawniard is actually a very good in-game Pokemon. Uh, Dark Steel is a unique typing to Pawniard's evolutionary line. Uh, and it's a good Pokemon. I give him an 8 out of 10 for in-game use. Um, yeah, just strong attacker, a physical type. So, on to the next one. Alright, the next new Pokemon I found here is Buneary. Buneary is a pure normal type introduced in the fourth generation. It's a bunny, which is kind of cool, I guess. Um, anyway, Buneary is kind of a middle-of-the-pack normal type. Uh, it's Evolution Low Penny, which it evolves via friendship. Um, is fast and kind of strong, uh, and it has a good move set, I guess. Uh, he gets a 5 and a 10 for in-game use. Kind of like, I don't recommend him, but I don't disrecommend him. So, Whatever, use them if you want. Alright, the next new Pokemon I found here in Route 16 is Combi. Combi is a bug flying type introduced in the fourth generation. Now, Combi is a very odd Pokemon in that I'm giving it two different ratings based upon the gender it is. Combi itself, a, co a male Combi gets a 1 out of 10 for in game use because he's terrible. He can never evolve, he never gets any good moves, and he has terrible stats. Female Combi, on the other hand, eventually evolve into Vespaquin, which. Um, is a bad bug flying type, pretty much. Um, kind of, it's a, like, bumblebee with a, it's a queen bee, basically. Uh, but it gets a 4 out of 10 for in-game use, because there's better bug flying types out there. Um, but I, Comey is very interesting, because the male does not evolve and the female does. Uh, so if you get a male Comey like this one, pretty much completely useless. Um, so that does it for Comey. One left. Alright, the last new Pokemon I found here in the regular grass of Route 16 is Drifloon. Drifloon is a ghost flying type introduced in the fourth generation. Very interesting typing. Um, because of his typing, and because he is a pretty good special attacker and with a ton of HP, uh, Drifloon gets a 7 out of 10 for me for in-game use. He's pretty good. Um, if you're still looking for a ghost type, I can recommend him. Uh, I've used one a couple times. So, he's pretty good. Uh, ghost flying is an interesting type. And he's... I think he's the only one that has it, still. So, um, yeah, that does it for all the new Pokemon found in the regular grass here. Uh, there are no Pokemon, there are no new Pokemon to be found in the shaking grass, uh, due to, well, me already covering all of them. Uh, Imalga are found here, which is not really new. Um, but old Pokemon that you can find in the regular grass here include Ekans, Pineco, Electrike, Paris, and Spoink. I can confirm that because I ran into all of them. Trying to find a Drifloon. Yeah, he's rare. Um, oh, hey, cool, a Dodrio. This is kind of like... I compared Dodrio to Braviary before, so... Mine's better. <laughs> uh, also, you know, 10 levels higher, but... Whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, actually, because I'm on to new Pokemon ratings, I'll want to run away. Um, over here, the Marvelous Bridge is being checked. Um, can't actually... I wonder if there's an item there. No, you can't actually go to the Marvelous Bridge until... No, that's a person. 
um, until after the end of the game, actually. So, another pine co. I ran into like 30 of these things trying to find a Drifloon. Um, not 30. Probably 10, though. Um, I haven't found a female Comey yet. Which is interesting, because if I wanted to use a combi or a Vespaquin, you'd have to find a female one. Anyway, in here, this is the Lost Lorn Forest, as it's going to show in a second here. Um, in here, you can get the Tam for Home Claws, which I don't need. Um, and there's also, of course, a bunch of new Pokemon. That is not one of them, however. <laughs> um... That is Yanma, although I should point out that Yanma got, an got a new evolution, Yanmega in 4th gen, which gives it an 8 out of 10 for in-game use. It also got speed, or it also has speed boost, which is good. Um, anyway, this guy up here is like, I like to travel, this woman likes to live quietly by herself. Um, I think there's a special event that can go on there if you have something, but I don't have that. So, yeah. Um, but, of course, no Pokemon to right here, so I'll be right back when I find one. Alright, the first new Pokemon I found here in the Lost Lord Forest is Carablast. Carablast is a pure bug type introduced in the fifth generation. Um, Carablast is kind of, well, strange. Um, in that it and another new Pokemon that I'm going to find here evolve via trading with each other. Uh, in this game, it's, I think, you level it up with the other one in your party and it evolves. Um... Anyway, Carablast's evolution is, I believe, yeah, is a Scavalier, which is a bug steel type, um, and he's not very good, he's very slow, big physical attacker, good physical defense, but there's better, I mean, if you want a bug steel type, go with Scissor. Uh, he gets a 3 out of 10 for in-game use, so I'm pretty sure he evolves into a Scavalier. I get confused with these two, because he looks like... The other one's evolution, sort of, and the other one looks like his evolution, sort of. It's weird. But I'll be right back when I find the next one. Alright, the next two Pokemon found here in the Lost Lauren Forest is Shelmet. Shelmet is the pair to Carablast. Uh, that I think this one evolves into a Selgore. One of them evolves into a Scavalier, one of them evolves into a Selgore. I'm pretty sure Shelmet is a Skel a Selgore, but I'm not positive. If it is, um, then he's a pure bug type introduced in the fifth generation. Uh, Aselgore is insanely fast, um, and he's got decent other stats, so he gets a 4 out of 10 for in-game use, but honestly, these guys, they're not very good, um, they're just weird, and kind of unique, um, so I don't recommend them, there's better bug types out there. One more new one found in the regular grass. Alright, the last new Pokemon found here in the regular grass of the Lost Learned Forest is Chataw. Chataw is a normal flying type introduced in the fourth generation. Uh, he's not a very good normal flying type. Um, I give him a 3 out of 10 for regular games. Uh, in Bla Blaze Black Bolt White, he got a big boost, uh, but that only put him up to a 5 out of 10. Um, interesting thing about Chataw is that he has a move called Chatter, which, if you're playing on a regular DS, you can actually record a sound that will play when you use Chatter. Uh, very interesting move, but that's about all I have to say about Chataw. Um, so he's just a, you know, low tier normal flying type, uh, kind of far-fetched take two. Um, speaking of far-fetched, he's one of the old Pokemon that you find here in the Lost Lorne Forest grass. Um, I can't get to the double battles grass up there because you need waterfall and surf. I don't have those yet. Uh, all you can find up there is evolutions of, well, the other Pokemon here, uh, which include Yanma, who I already covered, Pichu, who in this game, uh, Pikachu and Raichu can learn Surf, which makes them a lot better. Uh, you can also find Pikachu in the Shaking Grass here, I believe. Um, and uh, you can also find Psyduck, Surskit, who in Blaze Black and Volt White, Masquerade became a bug water type with vastly improved stats and a vastly improved moveset, pushing him up to an 8 out of 10 in-game rating. Farfetch'd, who turned into a, fly, a fighting flying type in this game, along with stat, huge stat boosts and a great new uh, move set, pushing him up to an 8 out of 10 for in-game rating. Mistrevus, who gained an evolution in 4th gen, thereby pushing him up to a 7 out of 10 in-game rating. And Murkrow, who also got an evolution in the 4th gen, pushing him up to an 8 out of 10 rating. Yeah. Now... <laughs> 
all that, and we still have a couple new Pokemon to cover found in the Shaking Grass. Let's hope it's this one. Nope. Pikachu. I'll come back when I find the new Pokemon that you can find here in the Shaking Grass. Okay, I know this isn't actually a new Pokemon, but um, in this route, in the Shaking Grass, you can find Eevee. Uh, of course, Eevee, I already covered its first five evolutions in Fire Red Omega, but in this game, he got two new ones. Uh, I don't actually have pictures of them or anything because, well, I don't want to. But uh, his new evolutions are Leafeon, the, le the grass type one, who gets a 7 out of 10 for in game use because he's kind of a physical attacker and he doesn't have the best moveset. And, uh, there are better grass types. And Glaceon, the poor, pure ice type. Um, which gets an 8 out of 10 for in-game use because he has a huge special attack and he can get good moves. Um, uh, you know, so he's pretty good. Uh, just like all evolutions, they're pretty good. Uh, I highly recommend catching an Eevee if you want to use any of its seven evolutions. Uh, I'm not going to use it in this game, but, you know, he's Eevee. You can catch him here. <laughs> um, so, you can if you want. Okay, the final two Pokemon found here in the Shaking Grass in root or er, in the lost born forest is zerua um zerua here is a pure dark type introduced in the fifth generation its evolution zorark was the first pokemon revealed as a part of the fifth generation making it pretty unique now normally zerua and zorark and zorark are not found in the main game uh you have to do a special event in black white 2 i think you'll be able to get one in the main game um but Anyway, you can get them here. They're just extremely rare in the Shaking Grass. I got lucky and found one in 10 minutes or so. Um, actually, less than 10 minutes. So, it, it, anyway, Zerua here, pure dark type, interested in the 5th gen. I already said that. He's a very good in-game Pokemon. He has great special attack and pretty good physical attack, too. Um, he's known more as a special attacker, anyway. He's also fast. Uh, and he has an ability, which is... Um, Illusion, which makes him appear to the opponent, and to you, actually, on screen, to be the last Pokemon in your party. Which means that if I had, say, Mach in the final slot here, Zerua would appear as a Blaziken. Uh, nickname and everything. Uh, he gets an 8 out of 10 for in-game use. Really good Pokemon. Um, I can highly recommend him. Uh, he's also very varied as a special attacker. And that does it for all the new Pokemon found in the Lost Lorne Forest. Uh, um... Anyway, you can also find in the Shaking Grass a bunch of evolutions of Pokemon that are here. Um, Pikachu, Miss Magius, Honchkrow, uh, just a bunch of stuff, pretty much. Um, but, that does it. Um, Route 16, the Lost Lorne Forest, the Desert Resort, Route 4, and Route 5, that whole annoying stretch full of new Pokemon to rate is finally over. I'm done with it. I'm so, so happy about that. Um, like, you have no idea. And that's going to do it for this video. Um, a little bit shorter than the last two, which I'm very happy about. Um, so next time we're going to actually follow the Team Plasma people that ran in that way, like, four episodes ago. <laughs> Whenever that was. Um, and then probably do some stuff. Maybe handle some of the gym. I'm not sure. Uh, but, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this part. Sorry it was so many Pokemon ratings, but we're now done with Pokemon ratings for a little while. So, I'll see you guys next time.